up there. You know, um, even when it's just small things like field goal block, you know, his, just his energy, his passion um, about the uh, game of football, it just, you can see it. Like I said, I'm excited for him this weekend. I did tell him, though, I said, you come here acting different Friday, you can't come back in our room. So, um, but now, nah, like I said, I mean, I'm happy for him. So. Are you curious to see just kind of how he runs the operation? Oh, I think, he, I know he's going to do a great job. Um, you know, probably one of the moments he's been waiting for it, um, even though, you know, he, it's just for a weekend right now, but you know, hopefully, eventually, you know that that job come available for him um, in the future. But like I said, I'm excited for him. Um, haven't told him yet, but when we get this win, he's gonna get the Gatorade bow. So. What makes him such an effective coach? I mean, just I, I first thought just his passion, the game of football. You know, he he loved the game of football. You know, um, just the talks this morning. We have a talk a talk this morning about just you know. Um, his history with guys and just, you know, what he expect out of the group. And, um, you know, he told us he, he don't think we there yet. And that's why I um, respect so much about him, no matter if it's me or the guy just came in, he's going to keep it real with us. And, you know, I think that's that's the biggest thing, you know, him being honest with his players and holding the, um, like myself accountable. And like I said, I can't do nothing but respect it. You're well, probably not going to play a whole lot on Saturday. You're going to be over in his ear telling him I'm gonna be, down, I'm going to be, I'm going to make sure I'm giving the stuff off the whole game. I'm going to make sure I'm in his ear, whatever it may be. And um, better just hope we get this win because I'm going to give him some, um, it's going to be hard on me if we end up not winning this game, but I know we're going to win it. Will so. he have the authority to levy any fines or any extra discipline now? Oh, I th I, I, he, he already told us he's going to be walking around in the room, so he's the head coach for the week, and I told him he, we've been made, we've been joking around. I'm um, going to keep some of the jokes in, but but I, like I said, it's going to be fun, you know, just to know that that day of, like, fr start Friday, he's going to be running the team meeting and stuff, so it's going to be exciting to see him on Friday and Saturday. So. Gelling together, just as far as the front, just stopping the run, then getting to the quarterback. We 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 feel like we don't need to blitz anything. We get to the quarterback with our four man front, um, and let the back end take care of itself. Back end coming along, we getting picks now, so everything is coming along. We getting past the PBUs and getting more picks. Nico's got his hand on a couple balls last couple days. He's such a, I know this sounds weird. He's kind of a quiet guy, but not when he's out there playing. He's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, nah, Nico, Nico is not quiet. He's just, I, I, I don't know. To, yeah, to y'all he is, but he's not quiet. He's a talkative guy. He, he's been in the league for a long time, so he give a lot, a lot of knowledge. And then I like him because I studied him before I got here, and now I'm here with him. I get to study him all day, all day. What did you study about him? Oh, just his pass rush moves. It's just being inside and seeing somebody who pass rush similar to me and not having those big stout yeah. guys inside. He was one of those guys I studied. Short time you've gotten to know Coach T. Just kind of what stood out about him to get this opportunity. This I've been knowing I've been knowing of Coach T since the Raiders. Oh, when that's I was right, a, that's right. I was at the Raiders. He wasn't there, but his name came came up a lot within the building and stuff like that. Then I also got a chance to be coached with uh, Coach Buck, who was with him a lot too. So I've been knowing about T for a long time. Just kind of what stands out about him though. Uh, just the knowledge of the game. Just he 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 he's calm. He's not your regular D line coach, the rah rah, the loud type guy. He's your calm, cool, collective guy. But he's been around so many great pass rushers, just great D linemen, and he just know a lot of knowledge and give it that pass it down. Struggle, but um, it, all in all, I don't think I think we've been doing good together. So it's just really going to come down to these preseason games. I I hope. Um, yeah, we're really just trying to take advantage of any opportunities that we get. What, what was the process like for you post-draft in terms of like interest from teams and why did you want to be here? Mm, so post-draft? Um, so this was, this was my number one spot. This is where I wanted to be out of everywhere. And then they were the first ones to call. So we locked, my agent and I locked that down quick and uh, really happy that I ended up here. Did, did you, has this gone the way you would have expected, you know, being in competition, you know, like not really knowing what the next month holds, I guess? Yeah, I mean, that's really how any of these competitions are. It's always, you know, it's always rough, but I mean, back and forth, shootout. So, I mean, that's how I like it. That's how he likes it. It's, um, it's good to be like this. It's just going to make us both better, wh whoever's playing. Is there, you know what to expect Saturday yet in terms of who does what or I know there's going to be a snapper, a holder, and me out there at some point. I'm going to try to put the brown thing between the yellow things. I mean, your, your position is used to pressure, but mm -hmm. what's this been like, you know, trying to make a career for yourself? Um, 
My dad told me before I came back out here, he's like, you know, everything's everything's already written how it's supposed to be. So if something goes wrong, don't sit there and dwell on it. You know, everything's going how it's supposed to. So if it's a good day, then good. You know, don't let my highs get too high or my lows get too low. It's kind of always been that way as a kicker. Always. You know, if you, if you get too too high on your highs, then you're going to drop pretty hard. So can't let uh, can't get too emotionally swung. You know what I mean?